what's up guys? This is Talk Wrestling, high definition of course. Thank you all for watching on YouTube and NoDQ.com and wherever else you may happen to watch Talk Wrestling, including the official side of the World Independent Ladies Division. We're on the sidebar now, officialwild.blogspot.com. Check us out there as well. Uh, thank you very much, Jimmy Quinn, for that. Today's show is about the belts in WWE. Specifically, Sony Kid 27 wants to know, is WWE ever going to get rid of the spinner belt? And he wants to know more of my title belt thoughts. Um, they've had an opportunity now for three years to get rid of the spinner belt. John Cena was stripped of the championship October 2nd, 2007, after reigning for over a year. And they kept the same design. It doesn't spin anymore. Even when Cena has it, it doesn't spin. But it's still the same, you know, tricked out little thing, whatever you want. I, spinner belt. It's not, but it's not a spinner. I don't even know what the hell to call that thing anymore. Uh, you know, uh... Bling, though. Bling, bling. Thank you. God almighty. I am so not hip, and I'm going on no sleep, okay? So that's where I went with that one. Thank you. Um, they should get rid of it. I think that belt, you know, I, here's my thing. I'm a belt mark, first and foremost, so I will get that belt as one of my replica belts I have in my collection because it is a representation of a world championship. However, I think once I buy it, they should get rid of that shit. should get rid of it. It's a hideous belt. It has no use anymore. John Cena's not the champion all the time anymore. Randy Orton's the champion. I know Orton doesn't look good carrying that big, ugly bling around. Sheamus didn't look good with it. Triple H didn't look good with it. Nobody looks good with it except for John Cena because it's his freaking belt. Bring back the undisputed 2002-2005 belt, the JBL belt, the Eddie belts, Undertaker, Hogan, Triple H. All those guys had that belt. You know, bring back the winged eagle. Bring back the big eagle. Any of those belts. Come up with a new belt with the eagle on it. Do something that looks traditional. The stupid, you know, you have, you know, you have to go with the times. No, you don't. The World Heavyweight Championship belt is the same big gold belt, with the exception of a changed logo that they've used for 25 years. That belt has never gone out of style. That world championship is classic. It's got a great look. It's three simple plates. It's this huge, big-ass gold plate, two side gold plates, but it looks freaking gorgeous. I love that belt with all my heart. I have a representation of the WCW championship at my house that I keep around just because I love that belt. I had to buy little re replica rubies because they fell off at a Halloween party. My dumbass went to Ric Flair, went as Ric Flair for a Halloween party and brought the real belt, not my toy belt. <laughs> um... But some of these other belts, I mean, the U.S. Championship belt, I get back and forth. Some people like it, some people don't. I hate the U.S. title, but I think it looks like a freaking child's toy that they cut and mold it into a real belt. It looks hideous. I like John Cena's spinner belt better than like that championship belt. That's how bad that is. Uh, the tag title belts, oh, my God. I don't know what hepped-up drugs they were on the day they designed those t stupid Spartan belts, but, oh, my God. If I were the champions, I'd rather carry the four belts around still, the one from each show. Those things were just awful. Um, what else? The IC belt is great. I love the Intercontinental Championship belt. I've always liked the IC design since they went with the 80s look with, uh, with Perfect. When Perfect had it and when the Warrior had it and Rude and, you know, from like 80... When Savage... Savage won it from Santana. Santana was the first one to have the classic Intercontinental belt design. That belt on the IC has never looked bad in my humble opinion. Um, you know... Uh, the TNA belts, the world title, you know, actually, the TNA belts, I don't have a problem with any of those belts. I think those belts look great. Um, I miss NWA belts, don't get me wrong, but I watch those at KDOC now. Um, the NWA Dome Gold belt is the most classic belt there is. I have one of those at home, and I love that belt. Um, but the TNA belts are really cool. The world championship is very classic looking, very, very slick, bleh, slick. The tag belts look great. The X Division looks very cool with the X going across it. I like the look of the knockouts. It's a little too bling blingy, but it's a women's belt. What do you want? The knockouts tag, uh, I'm not a fan of the red strap necessarily on all the belts, on both those belts. Uh, the NWA got away with it with their red strap belt. That was okay. But the TNA tag knockout belts, I don't think it looks good with the red strap. Maybe a black strap. Um, and then, of course, you have the Million Dollar Championship in WWE, which is the best belt there is. I love that freaking thing. It's worth a million dollars. Uh, it's the best belt ever. Um, I want one of those. It's our world championship. I bought one of those. Aaron, buy me one of those for, for my Christmas bonus. There you go. Um, anyway, those are my belt opinions. I want to know yours. Email me. Facebook me. I have not plugged the Facebook page, I don't think, one time since I created that sh page before we did all these shows. Facebook.com slash talk wrestling host. One word, talk wrestling host. That's where you can find the show on Facebook. We'll see you next time. Leave me some feedback.
for Talk Wrestling.